The air crackled with a residual magic, lingering like smoke after a vanished pyre. Arden knelt beside the charred remains of the oak, its once mighty boughs now broken and twisted, blackened by the starfire that had consumed it moments ago. The scent of ash and scorched bark hung heavy, mingling with the earthy musk of the forest floor. Her fingers traced the cool stone of a fallen phoenix feather, iridescent even in death, shimmering faintly in the dappled sunlight filtering through the canopy. He's gone, murmured a voice beside her, soft as the rustling leaves. Arden didn't need to turn. She knew it was Keelan. The sorrow in his tone resonated deeply, matching the hollowness that had swallowed her own heart. The fire drake hadn't stood a chance against the onslaught of starfire, its scales melting and dissolving under the relentless assault. A creature born of celestial power, destined to wield such destructive force, yet brought down by forces beyond its control. Arden couldn't bring herself to look at the smouldering crater where it had once fallen battling with remnants of the terrifying spectacle she'd witnessed. She pushed back a tangled strand of auburn hair that fell across her forehead, its fiery hue as melancholic as the setting sun casting long shadows over the forest floor. As a fire weaver, one who danced with fire and starlight, she felt a kinship with these creatures forged from raw celestial energy. Their existence resonated with the power within her own blood a power that now felt strangely subdued in the wake of such devastating loss. He fought bravely, Kalen said, his hand finding hers, his touch grounding her in this chaotic reality. A warmth spread through her, soothing the icy ache that threatened to consume her. His last breath was a defiance, a testament to his loyalty. Arden finally met his gaze, those deep emerald eyes holding a sorrow as vast and boundless as the night sky they both had vowed to protect. His touch resonated with the same familiar warmth she felt within, a reassuring flicker in the growing darkness. They were bound by more than duty. Their connection ran deeper, woven from shared experiences and a silent promise whispered beneath a canopy of stars. We must find the source, she said, her voice catching on the final word, before it claims another. Even as she spoke, doubt gnawed at her, a creeping fear that mirrored the shadow lengthening across their forest home. Kalen squeezed his hand around hers, his grip firm and reassuring. Together we will face this darkness. He looked beyond her into the darkening expanse of trees, his jaw set with resolve. The embers may bind us, he continued, his voice low, but they also illuminate our path. A shared look, a silent understanding passed between them, fueled by a love that soared against the encroaching darkness, and a destiny that beckoned like the distant promise of dawn. They stood together, two embers flickering in the gathering night, ready to fight the shadows that threatened to consume their world. The forest felt different this morning, hollower somehow. Gone was the usual symphony of birdsong and rustling leaves, replaced by an unnerving stillness that hung heavy in the air. Arden shivered, pulling her cloak tighter against the crisp dawn breeze as she joined Kalen by a whispering brook. Something's changed, she said her voice barely a whisper. The water mirrored their somber faces, its surface undisturbed except for a ripple where a single leaf drifted past. Kalen nodded, his emerald eyes scanning the tree line. Yes, he agreed, his hand finding hers, warm and comforting against the chill seeping into their bones. The energy here, it's fractured, disjointed. They had spent the night gathering information from the forest spirits, gleaning fragments of a devastating attack that had ripped through the heart of their domain. The fire drake hadn't been slain in battle, but consumed by a force unlike anything they had ever encountered, a cold, starless void that extinguished light and life with an icy touch. We need to warn the others, Arden murmured, a knot tightened in her chest, thinking of Elder Alara, her mentor, and the other weavers of fire magic who relied on the forest's ancient balance for their power. If this void can do this, what will it do next? Kaelin squeezed her hand reassuringly. We won't face this alone, Arden. We may lose allies, but we will not be consumed. Their journey to Elder Alara's grove was a somber procession through silent trees and hushed undergrowth. They passed twisted branches stripped bare of leaves, the vibrant tapestry of life replaced by an unsettling monochrome landscape. The Elder's dwelling, usually pulsating with warmth and light, seemed dim, shrouded in a veil of mourning. 
Alara greeted them with weary eyes and a heart heavy with grief for their fallen protector. I have felt this imbalance, she said, her voice frail, a dark emptiness gnawing at the very core of our world. Elder Alara, Arden knelt before her. We believe an unknown force. She hesitated, struggling to find words that encompassed the horror they had witnessed, the chilling void that threatened their existence. Speak freely, child, Alara urged, her gaze unwavering. Even in darkness, truth finds its way. Arden poured out their tale, of the attack on the fire drake, the chilling emptiness, and the growing threat they sensed hanging over them like a suffocating shroud. Kaelin stood beside her, his hands still clasped in hers, offering quiet strength as she recounted their fears. This is unlike anything we have ever faced, he said when Arden finished, his voice firm despite the tremor that ran through him. We must unravel this mystery before it consumes us all. The elders had a plan, a perilous journey to the furthest reaches of the forest, where legends whispered of an ancient power, a luminescence that fueled their magic. Perhaps there, they might find the answers they desperately sought. As darkness fell, casting long shadows across the grove, Alara addressed them with an unwavering gaze. The path ahead will be fraught with danger, but courage has always been your beacon, she said, placing a hand upon each of their brows, imbuing them with her strength. Remember your hearts, your love for this forest and each other. It is the fire that burns brightest against the encroaching night. The first tendrils of dawn bled through the canopy, painting the mournful scene with hues of apricot and rose. Arden watched as Kaelin knelt beside the charred remains of the fire drake's pyre, tending the embers that flickered like dying stars. The air still echoed with the phantom roar of flames, a stark reminder of the life extinguished, replaced by an unnerving emptiness. Elder Alara believes, Kaelin began, his voice a low rumble, as if wrestling with unspoken fears. The void consumed it entirely. No trace, only ash. He sighed, stirring the embers restlessly with a charred branch. There was no battle. The energy. It just vanished. Arden squeezed his hand, her heart heavy with shared grief. Since ancient times, fire drakes were guardians, their flames fueled by the very essence of starfall, the mystical phenomenon that birthed this enchanted forest. Now, the delicate balance felt as fragile as woven moonlight. Do you think we were meant to fight this? Arden asked, her voice barely a whisper against the rustling leaves. Kalen's gaze met hers, his emerald eyes burning with an intensity that mirrored the embers at his feet. We may not have a choice, he murmured, drawing strength from their bond. His fingers tightened around hers. Our power comes from Starfall too, Arden. If something dark can extinguish it, then we are the only ones who can fight back. He stood, his usual easy smile replaced by a grim line of determination. We must find where this void originates before it reaches Elder Alara. Their journey began as a solemn pilgrimage through the silent forest. Trees once vibrant with life stood skeletal and bare against the pale dawn. A haunting stillness hung in the air, broken only by the crunch of their boots on frost-covered leaves. As they progressed deeper into the forbidden heartwood, whispered murmurs echoed among the branches, tales of forgotten magic and primordial shadows. This is unsettling, Arden admitted, her brow furrowed with concern. She gripped Kaelin's hand tighter as a gust of wind whipped past them, carrying the scent of decay and an unsettling chill. Kaelin nodded, his gaze scanning their surroundings. It feels unnatural. He paused, listening intently to something beyond Arden's comprehension. There's an echo here. The forest grew denser, the air thick with a stifling silence. Thorns snagged at their garments as they pushed through tangled undergrowth, a sense of unseen eyes watching them from the shadowed depths. As twilight painted the canopy in hues of violet and indigo, they reached a clearing, choked with gnarled roots and shrouded in mist. At its centre stood a towering oak, aged beyond memory, its leaves withered and black. This is it, Kalen breathed his voice barely audible over the rustle of wind through the barren branches. He walked towards the ancient tree, his hand resting on the hilt of his sword. The echo, Arden whispered, her heart pounding against her ribs. She felt a tremor run beneath her feet, like an unseen beast stirring from its slumber. As they approached the oak, a wave of icy air washed over them, chilling them to their bones. The roots pulsed with a faint luminescence, the colour of dying embers. 
Starfall, corrupted, Keelan murmured, his eyes narrowed in concentration. His hand darted instinctively around Arden's waist, pulling her close as the ground beneath them shook violently. A voice echoed through the clearing, cold and hollow like an empty tomb. So they come, seeking answers in this desolate place. The mist swirling around the oak tree thickened, coalescing into a skeletal figure formed of pure darkness. It reached out with grasping claws, its eyes burning with a malevolent light. Arden and Keelan stood their ground, locked together, as if bound by a thread of starlight spun from unwavering love. It was time to defend their home. The journey deepened into a labyrinth of gnarled branches and fading light. Sunbeams, once vibrant threads woven through the canopy, now filtered weakly, casting long skeletal shadows that danced to the silent rhythm of their boots on frost-kissed earth. Do you think Elder Alara senses this? Arden asked, her voice barely louder than the rustling leaves. A deep furrow etched between her brows as she surveyed the desolate landscape. Trees stripped bare, like ancient sentinels yearning for life once more. Kaelin squeezed her hand, his emerald eyes holding a somber intensity. She's attuned to Starfall, perhaps even more so than we are, he murmured, stopping at a moss-covered clearing bathed in an eerie twilight. The emptiness here, it feels like a wound on the heart of our forest. A wisp of wind snaked through the branches, carrying the scent of decay mingled with something else, something alien and unsettling. A shiver crawled down Arden's spine. What is that smell? she whispered, her gaze darting across the clearing. Kalen closed his eyes, inhaling deeply. Darkness, he breathed, his voice hushed with a tremor of apprehension. An unnatural darkness. He turned towards her, drawing strength from their shared connection. But we walk toward light, Arden. We carry Starfall within us, remember? Our bond, our love, it is fueled by the same source. He cupped her face in his hands, his thumbs stroking gently against her cheeks. And nothing can extinguish that flame. Arden leaned into his touch, seeking solace in his gaze. As she met his emerald eyes, reflecting the dying embers of twilight, a warmth spread through her chest, counteracting the encroaching chill. They were two halves of the same sun, their destinies intertwined against this encroaching darkness. Suddenly, a guttural screech tore through the air, sending shivers of primal fear down Arden's spine. A pair of glowing eyes, like burning embers in the twilight gloom, materialized amidst the darkening foliage. Kalen tightened his grip on her hand, his jaw set with determination. Stay behind me, he commanded, unsheathing his sword with an audible clang. It pulsed with a soft, ethereal glow, channeling Starfall's power. An enormous, grotesque creature stepped into the clearing. A twisted mockery of a creature once bound by Starfall's grace. Its limbs were covered in festering boils, its eyes burning with malevolent hunger. The stench emanating from it intensified, a miasma of decay and unnatural power. A voidling, Arden gasped, her voice tight with apprehension. These creatures, twisted remnants of extinguished life force, were but whispers on the wind. Monstrous tales whispered by firelight. But now, one stood before them, an embodiment of the very threat that haunted their forest. A chilling realization settled in Arden's heart. The darkness had awakened, and their journey was about more than simply finding its source. It was about survival. The air crackled with tension as Kaelin sheathed his sword, the ethereal glow fading from its blade. The voidling's chilling screech still echoed in Arden's ears, a stark reminder of the encroaching danger. We need to regroup he said, his voice grave. This creature, it wasn't natural. There's something else at play here, something beyond our understanding. Arden nodded, swallowing the fear that clawed at her throat. Elder Alara, she whispered, her brow furrowing. Do you think she can sense what's happening? Kaelin looked into her eyes, seeking to offer comfort despite his own unease. She's connected to Starfall, to this forest, but even she might struggle against whatever is corrupting it from within. They walked towards the grove where Elder Elara resided, a place usually bathed in warmth and serenity, but now shrouded in an unnatural gloom. As they approached, the scent of decay intensified, mingling with the sweet aroma of decaying blossoms, creating a cloying stench that turned Arden's stomach. Elder Elara sat hunched beneath a withered oak tree, her eyes closed, radiating a faint luminescence. A tremor ran through her frail frame as if she was battling an unseen force. Elder, 
Arden knelt beside her, laying a hand on the elder's wrinkled arm. Alara's eyes snapped open, a mix of pain and weariness etched across her usually serene face. The darkness, it's spreading, she rasped, her voice barely a whisper. Something ancient, something evil, has awakened. Her gaze fell upon Kaelin and Arden, a flicker of hope momentarily brightening her weary features. Your love, your bond, it is a beacon against the encroaching shadows. But be warned, children, this darkness will test you, it will threaten everything you hold dear. Kaelin gripped Arden's hand tighter, his emerald eyes locked with Alara's. We won't falter, Elder. We swear to protect this forest, to fight back against whatever monstrous force threatens it. Arden echoed Kaelin's determination, her voice firm despite the tremor in her heart. With every ounce of our being, we will prevail. The path ahead is perilous, Alara warned, but remember your strength lies not just in physical prowess. It lies also in the love that binds you, in the unwavering commitment to protect those you cherish. She placed a weathered hand on Arden's cheek, her touch sending a warmth radiating through Arden's body. Harness your sorrow, child, she said softly. Transform it into righteous fury. Let it fuel your fight. They left Alara under the skeletal oak, her form shrouded in shadows, their hearts heavy with the daunting task ahead. The forest air felt thicker now, steeped with an oppressive silence punctuated only by the rustle of dead leaves and a distant owl's mournful cry. As they ventured deeper into the forsaken heart of the woods, Arden glanced back at Keelan, seeking his gaze in the dimming light. He was already staring at her, his emerald eyes reflecting both determination and a deep, unwavering love that promised to be their anchor in this encroaching darkness. The forest floor was a mosaic of damp earth and skeletal leaves, crunching softly beneath their boots. Arden kept her pace beside Kaelin, every rustle making her heart jump, each shadow seeming to writhe with potential menace. Do you think Elder Alara was, right? She asked, her voice barely a whisper against the stillness. Could this darkness be something... ancient? Kaelin's jaw tightened as he scanned their surroundings. The creatures we faced were unlike anything I've seen before, he admitted, his emerald eyes reflecting the fading light filtering through the canopy. There are stories whispered about things that slumber beneath the surface of Starfall, waiting to be awakened. Arden shivered, pulling her cloak tighter around her. The air grew colder as they ventured deeper, a damp chill seeping into their bones. What kind of things? she asked, trying to keep her voice steady despite the prickling fear in her chest. Legends speak of creatures born from shadow and nightmare, Kaelin replied, his grip on his sword hilt tightening ever so slightly. Twisted echoes of power from a time before Starfall itself. His gaze held hers for a fleeting moment, but even legends aren't sure. He offered a reassuring smile, more meant for her than himself. They continued onward, the path ahead shrouded in mist, as though swallowed by the encroaching gloom. Just when Arden was beginning to despair, they stumbled upon an ancient clearing, bathed in a faint emerald glow. In its center stood a towering tree with crimson leaves shimmering like embers against the darkening sky. Its branches reached towards the heavens, pulsing with a gentle energy that seemed to soothe the tension in the air. This, Arden whispered, her eyes wide with awe. The tree emanated a warmth that felt different from the encroaching cold, vibrant and alive laced with an ancient power that hummed through her very being. Kaelin knelt beside her, his face illuminated by the pulsing glow of the crimson leaves. I think this is where we need to start looking, he said, tracing a pattern on the rough bark with his fingertips. This tree, it reacts differently to this darkness. It feels connected. Arden shared his sentiment, feeling an undeniable pull towards the ancient tree, as though it beckoned them to uncover its secrets. As they reached out their hands in unison, their fingers brushing against the pulsing bark, a wave of energy surged through them, bathing the clearing in a brilliant emerald light. Suddenly, an ethereal voice echoed within their minds, ancient and full of wisdom. Seek the embers, it whispered. Find the heart of Starfall's flame, for only there can your quest truly begin. The whisper faded as quickly as it came, leaving them breathless with wonder and uncertainty. The crimson leaves rustled, revealing a faint inscription carved into the bark, an intricate symbol that pulsed with vibrant energy. Ember, Starfall's Flame. 
Arden muttered, tracing the markings with her fingertip. What does it mean? Kalen met her gaze, his eyes ablaze with determination. We need to find out, he said, his voice firm and resolute. This tree has shown us the way. Taking a deep breath, he nodded towards the inscription. Let's follow the embers. They journeyed into the heart of Starfall, guided by the enigmatic message and the vibrant glow emanating from the pulsing leaves above their heads, ready to face whatever mysteries awaited them in the fading light. The trail leading deeper into Starfall's heart was a treacherous one, shrouded in mist that clung to their cloaks like phantom whispers. Arden followed Kaelin, her boots sinking into the soft earth, each footstep punctuated by the rustling of ancient leaves. The air thrummed with an unsettling energy, prickling at the hairs on the back of her neck. The symbol on the tree. It felt connected to the drake's death somehow, Arden said, her voice hushed. Kalen cast a glance over his shoulder, his emerald eyes glinting in the meagre light filtering through the canopy. Perhaps it was a beacon? Calling something? Or someone? Arden shivered, tugging her cloak tighter around her shoulders. The forest had never felt so menacing before, every rustle of leaves and snap of a twig sending a jolt of adrenaline through her. She missed the warmth, the comforting rumble of their fallen comrade. What if it was a warning? she asked, fear lacing her words. Kalen stopped, his gaze fixed on a gnarled oak rooted at the edge of the path. Runes, similar to those carved into the sacred tree, shimmered faintly along its trunk, glowing with an ethereal green light. He stepped closer, running a gloved hand over the intricate carvings. It feels warm, he said softly, but tainted, like fire tempered by darkness. Carefully, they circled the oak. At its base lay a clearing bathed in moonlight. In the centre pulsed an ember, glowing hot with a malevolent crimson light. It pulsed like a heartbeat, casting grotesque shadows that danced around them. The embers, Arden breathed, her eyes wide with awe and trepidation. Are they connected to the darkness? To what took Drake? She knelt beside the ember, reaching out cautiously. A wave of heat blasted against her face, sending pain shooting through her hand. Kalen pulled back her arm, his expression etched with concern. Stay away, he warned. It's not meant for our touch. He unsheathed his sword, the blade humming softly in response to the pulsating energy emanating from the crimson embers. Whatever this is, it has power beyond anything we've encountered before. The air crackled with a sudden electric energy. The shadows around them wreathed and coalesced, forming grotesque shapes that hissed and roared, their eyes burning with an unholy light. Arden's heart pounded against her ribs. She knew they couldn't escape this confrontation. Gripping Kalen's hand, she drew strength from his presence, his warmth a reassuring anchor in the encroaching chaos. We can't ignore it, she whispered, her voice steady despite the tremors racing through her body. The answers lie here, and we have to fight for our forest, for Starfall. Kalen squeezed her hand, returning her gaze with steely determination. Together, they stood facing the swirling darkness, a beacon of defiance against the encroaching shadows. They would unravel this mystery, no matter the cost. The monstrous shadows lunged, claws extended like obsidian knives glinting under the sickly light of the crimson ember. Kalen reacted instantly, his sword a silver blur as it met their advance with deafening clangor. Each swing was precise, controlled, fueled by a simmering rage that matched the flickering heat of the embers at their feet. Arden, meanwhile, dodged and weaved, her own fear morphing into fierce determination. She drew upon the forest's ancient magic, whispering silent incantations to summon vines that ensnared the grasping shadows, giving Kaelin precious moments to strike. The air crackled with energy as Kaelin's sword met unearthly resistance. The shadows writhed and pulsated their forms shifting and reforming like smoke caught in a tempest. They feed on this darkness, Arden gasped, her voice hoarse from the exertion. We need to sever their link to the embers. Kalen, pushing aside a particularly vicious lunge, caught her eye for a brief moment. His face was streaked with grime and sweat, emerald eyes blazing with an intensity that mirrored her own. How? he yelled over the cacophony of screeching claws and crackling energy. Arden's gaze darted to the pulsating crimson ember at the centre. It throbbed with a sickening purple light, like a heart beating out of time. A dangerous plan formed in her mind. I may be able to disrupt it, she said, 
her voice tight with apprehension. But I'll need you to hold them off. Kalen didn't hesitate. With a guttural roar, he charged forward, his sword singing through the air as he carved a path through the swirling darkness. Taking a deep breath, Arden moved towards the ember, careful not to step on the tendrils of shadow that pulsed dangerously close. The moment she was within reach, she raised her hand, focusing her will upon the pulsing heart of the darkness. A wave of energy surged from her fingertips, aimed directly at the centre of the crimson light. For a heartbeat, there was only chaos, blinding flashes of light, searing heat, and the deafening roar of disintegrating shadows. Then, just as suddenly, everything fell silent. The monstrous shadows dissipated into wisps of smoke, leaving behind an eerie stillness. Arden stumbled, her knees weakening. The magic had drained her, leaving a cold emptiness at its core. Kalen reached her side instantly, his concern etched on his face as he helped her to her feet. You did it, he breathed, relief washing over him like a tidal wave. We stopped them. The ember remained, but the malevolent pulsating light was gone, replaced by a soft, shimmering glow. For the first time since they arrived, Arden felt a glimmer of hope pierce through the despair that had been steadily consuming her. The air hung heavy with the scent of damp earth and ash, the recent battle leaving an indelible mark on the forest. Arden traced a finger along the fading outline of a vine-like scar marring the bark of a towering oak, a grim testament to the night's struggle. Kalen knelt beside her, his hand resting gently on her shoulder. The woods are healing, he murmured, his emerald eyes mirroring the soft glow emanating from the ember. Arden nodded, but her gaze remained somber. The fire drake's death had been a devastating blow, felt acutely by both human and nature alike. Its fiery breath had once kept the shadows at bay, its booming rumbles a reassuring symphony in this old world. Now, silence hung thick with an unsettling stillness. What do we know about these things? she asked, her voice echoing in the hushed woods. Are they simply creatures drawn to the ember, or something more sinister? Kalen's brow furrowed as he scanned the charred ground. The elder spoke of a darkness that grew when the starlight waned, he recalled, his gaze turning towards the star-strewn sky. He warned of shadows born from the void, thirsting for light and life. He looked back at her, his eyes filled with resolve. We must find the source that feeds this darkness, Arden. The ember, it's a beacon, drawing them in. A shared chill ran down Arden's spine. But where, and what if it's beyond our reach? His hand tightened on her shoulder, his presence offering a comforting warmth amidst the encroaching shadows. We'll find it together, he assured her, voice unwavering. This forest is our home, and we won't let darkness claim it. Days blurred into nights as they scoured the wilderness, guided by whispers shared through ancient trees and lingering traces of the shadow's dark magics. Arden delved deeper into the secrets woven within the forest's heart, her fingers tracing patterns carved on gnarled roots and whispering forgotten names to awaken long-dormant spirits. Kalen used his sharpened senses, tracking paw prints left too light for any known beast, and listening for whispers carried on the wind that spoke of hidden chambers and forgotten rituals. One evening, as twilight painted the sky in hues of amethyst and ruby, Arden knelt before a giant oak, ancient enough to whisper secrets even older than time itself. Its bark was etched with intricate symbols, glowing faintly with an inner luminescence that mirrored the ember's soft radiance. She placed her hand on the rough surface, feeling a pulsating energy thrumming beneath her touch. The shadow's power, she murmured, drawing in a sharp breath. It feeds on this forest's life force, twisting its essence. Suddenly, a flicker of movement caught Kalen's eye. He spun around, his hand instinctively reaching for his sword. Two figures, cloaked in shadows, emerged from behind the trees, their eyes burning with an unearthly glow. Who are you? he demanded, his voice taut with alertness. What do you want? The figures glided closer, their faces hidden within the folds of their dark hoods. The air crackled with a palpable energy, not hostile, but chillingly ancient and cold. We are weavers, rasped one figure, its voice echoing through the stillness like winter wind whistling through bone-dry trees. And this forest, it holds secrets we must reclaim. A tapestry of stars draped across the velvet sky, a stark contrast to the gloomy silence that pressed upon the forest floor. 
Arden knelt beside a sprawling fern, its fronds unusually brittle, their vibrant green replaced by a sickly tinge of yellow. It's like, as if the light itself is draining from them, she murmured, brushing a withered leaf against her cheek. Kalen. She looked up to see him scanning the dense foliage, his brow etched with worry. What do you think? A blight. He joined her side, the soft rustle of his boots on fallen leaves, the only sound that broke the heavy silence. I don't know, he admitted, his amber eyes mirroring the concern in hers. This feels different. It's not just a disease. The very essence of life seems to be fading at an alarming rate. He knelt beside her, tracing a finger over the dry fern. The earth itself feels colder. Arden shivered, pulling her cloak tighter against the creeping chill. There was a bone-deep coldness that had settled upon the forest, beyond what the night could account for. It felt like something dark and insidious feeding on their beloved woods, stealing its vibrancy with each passing hour. Their quest to unravel the threads of this mystery led them deeper into the heart of the ancient forest. They followed trails etched by long-forgotten paws, deciphered whispers carried on the wind, haunted by the ghost of laughter that once echoed through these woods. Each step, each sign, deepened the gnawing sense that something ancient and evil had awakened. As dusk settled, casting long shadows across their path, they came upon a grove unlike any they'd seen before. The trees here stood tall and gnarled, their branches clawing at the fading light like skeletal fingers. A sickly pale mist clung to the ground, swirling in unnatural patterns that seemed to writhe with an unseen life of its own. These trees, they feel wrong, Arden said, her voice a hushed whisper. Even the whispering wind, usually a constant companion through the forest, seemed unwilling to venture into this grove. It was as if the heart of the woods itself was holding its breath. Kalen nodded grimly, drawing his sword with a metallic clang that pierced the eerie quiet. Stay close, he murmured, his amber eyes scanning the shadows, searching for any sign of movement in the swirling mist. A low growl echoed through the grove, sending shivers down Arden's spine. The air grew colder, the silence thickening into a suffocating blanket. Her hand instinctively found Kalen's arm, her strength drawing from his resolute presence. He squeezed her hand reassuringly, his grip steady and warm, a beacon of comfort in this unsettling place. They moved cautiously deeper into the grove, each step measured, alert for any sign of danger. The pale mist swirled around their ankles, whispering secrets they couldn't decipher. And then, at the heart of the grove, bathed in an aura of sickly light, they saw it. A circle of ancient stones, etched with bizarre, pulsating runes. And within this circle, a figure. The mournful wind whistled through the skeletal branches of the dead trees, a dirge echoing Arden's heavy heart. She traced the outline of Ignis, her fire drake companions, scales etched into the cool stone of his memorial. Kalen stood beside her, his arm a comforting weight against her trembling side. Each day feels colder, she whispered, her voice catching on the crisp air, like a chill seeping from the very earth. Kalen squeezed her hand, his amber eyes reflecting the same sorrow that mirrored in hers. We grieve for him, Arden, he said softly. But we must also remember why he fought, why we fight. His words struck a chord within her. Ignis had fallen defending their forest, consumed by an emerald fire unlike any Arden had ever seen. A chilling thought ran through her. Wasn't it the same sickly green that plagued the leaves they'd found days ago? The heart of this darkness, it feels connected to Ignis's death she murmured, staring down at the engraved scales, like something twisted and malign drew power from his destruction. Then we will find it, Kalen said, his voice firm with determination. It won't destroy our forest while I draw breath. He pulled her close, resting his chin on her shoulder, and it certainly won't touch you until I stop it. A pang of warmth bloomed within Arden, despite the chill clinging to every corner of her being. His love was a beacon in this spreading darkness. Come, she said, taking his hand and looking towards the shadowed forest path. We ride at dawn. Together they walked towards their home, sharing whispers of plans under the watchful gaze of a star-dusted sky. A silent promise hung between them, to find justice for Ignis, and to save the heart of their beloved woods. As darkness consumed the day, transforming familiar paths into eerie labyrinths, 
Arden noticed a faint glow emanating from beneath an ancient oak close to their cabin. She beckoned Caelan closer. Do you see that? she asked, pointing towards the luminous shimmer that pulsed softly among the gnarled roots. Caelan drew closer and knelt beside her, his brow furrowed in thought. It's a light, but not like any I've seen before. He reached out cautiously, his hand hovering above the pulsating glow. A jolt ran through him, causing him to recoil with a gasp. It burns cold, he muttered, tracing a finger along the edge of the strange aura. Yet, it feels alive. Arden's breath caught in her throat as she felt a prickling sensation at the back of her neck. Something was watching them. The light intensified and pulsed with renewed vigour, as if beckoning them closer. With a shared glint in their eyes, they knew they were standing upon the edge of something extraordinary, something that promised both danger and the potential to unravel the secrets behind the blight afflicting their forests. Arden woke to a chill that seeped deeper than a winter's frost, clawing at her insides. Even wrapped in layers beneath their thick furs, she felt it gnaw at the edges of Kaelin's warmth beside her. It wasn't just the cold pressing against the cabin walls. It was a different kind of chill, an insidious unease that clung to the air like shadow smoke. She glanced at Kaelin, his face relaxed beneath closed eyelids, brow creased in barely perceptible slumber thoughts. She wouldn't bother him now. He needed his rest after the long ride yesterday, leading their small band of scouts through treacherous ice drifts and frozen ravines. They had to reach Whisperwind Pass before nightfall to gather intel on the tremors that had plagued their territory for weeks. A disturbance not unlike what she had felt beneath her skin since Ignis's passing. A tremor in the very heart of the earth, spreading out like an icy tendril through every waking moment. Morning, Kaelin murmured, his voice thick with sleep as he stretched beside her, his arm instinctively finding its familiar place around her waist. He nuzzled his face against hers, warmth flooding back into her despite the lingering chill. Sleep well? he asked, his breath warm against her cheek. Arden smiled faintly. Not quite, she admitted, pushing a stray strand of hair from his eyes with gentle fingertips. The dreams. They had been vivid once again, filled with flickering emerald flames and Ignis's roars echoing in empty caverns. Felt a shift last night, she whispered, remembering the growing unease. Shift, huh? Kalen sat up then, concern creasing his features. The tremors? Spreading deeper? He pulled on his tunic quickly, always efficient and ready. Maybe, Arden said uncertainly. Not sure. It felt different. Kalen moved around the small cabin with purpose. Soon he returned with two mugs of steaming tea, the scent of honey and cinnamon filling their cramped space. He handed one to Arden, watching her sip tentatively. Keep that in you, Kalen said his voice low. It'll keep the cold out a bit. He took a long swig from his own cup. We've got a lot of ground to cover. Arden nodded, taking another thoughtful sip. She was tired. She hadn't slept properly since Ignis's passing. But the unease gnawing at her was worse than any fatigue. They needed answers, and Whispering Wind Pass held secrets he hoped they could unravel before whatever ancient evil rose from beneath the frozen earth consumed their forest entirely. Reaching Whisperwind Pass in Twilight's dusky grip, they found a scene of stark beauty carved into the biting wind. Towering pines dusted with snow stood sentinel over a landscape painted in shades of blue and grey. The air was thick with silence, broken only by the crunch of snow beneath their boots. The villagers, Kalen murmured, eyeing a cluster of sturdy stone huts huddled together for warmth against the approaching night. Smoke curled from crooked chimneys, hinting at flickering fires, and whispered stories passed between weary families. This is where we'll learn what they know. He touched her shoulder gently, giving her a reassuring smile before turning toward the village entrance. Arden clung to his warmth as they walked, sharing shared looks of cautious concern, a bond forged in grief and fueled by unwavering love for their land and each other. This wind-swept pass was more than just a gateway between valleys, it held whispers from the past, echoes of ancient spirits, and perhaps answers to the chilling tremors that threatened their world.